A whale of a tale, rarity and fascination. The vast ocean holds countless mysteries. Few are as intriguing as the idea of being swallowed alive by a whale. It's a tale that has captured imaginations for centuries. Stories passed down through generations paint vivid pictures of this unlikely event. But how much of it is truth, and how much is embellished by time? The reality is that being swallowed by a whale is incredibly rare. Whales, despite their immense size, are not monsters of the deep. They are gentle giants feeding primarily on small creatures like krill and fish. The anatomy of most whales makes it nearly impossible to swallow a human. Their throats are simply not large enough to accommodate our size. Yet the question remains, could someone survive inside a whale? It's a question that sparks curiosity and sends shivers down our spines. To understand the answer we must delve into the fascinating world of whales and their biology. Join me as we embark on a journey to explore the science behind this captivating concept. We'll separate fact from fiction and uncover the truth about surviving inside one of nature's most magnificent creatures. Giants of the Deep A look at whale anatomy. Whales, the largest animals on Earth, are a diverse group. They come in all shapes and sizes, each adapted to their unique environment. From the massive blue whale, bigger than any dinosaur, to the playful dolphins, whales have fascinated humans for millennia. To understand the possibility of surviving inside a whale, we must first understand their anatomy. Whales are mammals, just like us. They breathe air, give birth to live young, and nurse their offspring. But their bodies have evolved over millions of years to thrive in the ocean depths. One crucial difference lies in their feeding mechanisms. There are two main types of whales, baleen whales and toothed whales. Baleen whales like humpbacks and blue whales have baleen plates instead of teeth. These plates act like giant sieves filtering out tiny creatures from the water. Toothed whales like sperm whales and orcas have teeth and hunt larger prey including fish, squid and even other marine mammals. Their throats are larger than those of baleen whales but still not large enough to swallow a human whole. The swallowing mechanism, a gulp, a slide, and a squeeze. Let's imagine, for a moment, the impossible, a human being inside a whale's mouth. What happens next? The swallowing mechanism of a whale is a complex process, perfectly designed for its diet. For baleen whales, it starts with a massive gulp of water. The whale engulfs a volume of water larger than its body size. Then, it uses its powerful tongue to push the water out through the baleen plates. The plates trap tiny creatures, which the whale then swallows. Toothed whales, on the other hand, use their teeth to grasp and tear their prey. They swallow their food whole, relying on their powerful stomach acids to break down the flesh and bones. In both cases, the food travels down the esophagus, a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. Muscles in the esophagus contract and relax, pushing the food along in a process called peristalsis. The entire process from gulp to stomach is remarkably efficient, but for a human it would be a terrifying and ultimately fatal journey. The pharynx, a crossroads of paths. Before reaching the stomach, anything swallowed by a whale must first pass through the pharynx. This muscular funnel-shaped passage serves as a critical junction in a whale's anatomy. It's where the digestive and respiratory tracts intersect. Imagine a busy intersection where food and air must navigate without collision. In whales, the pharynx manages this traffic flow with precision. During swallowing, a flap of tissue called the epiglottis covers the trachea, the airway to the lungs. This ensures that food is directed down the esophagus and prevents choking. For a human unfortunate enough to be swallowed, the pharynx presents the first obstacle. The powerful muscles of the pharynx, designed to push large volumes of water and prey, would exert immense pressure. This pressure alone could be fatal, crushing bones and collapsing lungs. While the pharynx acts as a gateway to the stomach, it also highlights the incompatibility of human survival within a whale's digestive system. The intricate workings of this vital organ, so essential for a whale's survival, would spell disaster for an unintended passenger. Section 5. The Stomach, a Chamber of Acids and Enzymes. Assuming against all odds that a human could survive the passage through the pharynx, the next challenge awaits, the stomach. This is where the real work of digestion begins. Whale stomachs are complex organs divided into multiple chambers. The first chamber, similar to the stomach of a cow, is called the rumen. Here, bacteria work to break down tough food, like the chitinous exoskeletons of krill. The second chamber, the main stomach, is where the real digestive power lies. The stomach walls are lined with glands that secrete powerful digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid. 
This potent cocktail is designed to break down proteins, fats, and even bones. The environment inside the stomach is incredibly hostile with a pH level as low as 1.5. For a human, exposure to these acids and enzymes would be catastrophic. The stomach lining would be quickly dissolved, leading to internal bleeding and organ failure. Survival in such an environment is simply impossible. Section 6. Oxygen Deprivation – The Silent Killer While the crushing pressure and digestive fluids present immediate dangers, the lack of oxygen inside a whale poses a silent but equally deadly threat. Whales, despite living in water, are mammals and need air to breathe. They have evolved remarkable adaptations to hold their breath for extended periods. Sperm whales, for example, can stay submerged for up to 90 minutes. They achieve this by storing oxygen in their blood and muscles. However, inside a whale's stomach, there is no access to oxygen. The air swallowed by the whale is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream. The stomach itself is a highly acidic environment, devoid of oxygen. For a human, this lack of oxygen would be fatal within minutes. The brain, deprived of oxygen, would quickly begin to shut down. Loss of consciousness would occur first, followed by organ failure and ultimately death. Section 7. Crushing Pressure – The Weight of the Ocean The ocean depths are a world of immense pressure. For every 33 feet of depth the pressure increases by one atmosphere. Whales, especially deep-diving species like sperm whales, have evolved to withstand these crushing forces. Their bodies are flexible, allowing their lungs to collapse and their rib cages to compress. This reduces the amount of airspace inside their bodies, minimizing the impact of pressure changes. A human body, however, is not equipped for such extremes. At depths frequented by whales, the pressure would be unbearable. The lungs would collapse, the eardrums would rupture, and the chest cavity could implode. Even if someone could miraculously survive the stomach acid and lack of oxygen, the crushing pressure of the ocean depths would be insurmountable. The human body is simply not designed to withstand such forces. Section 8. Historical Accounts. Fact or Fiction? Throughout history there have been tales of sailors and fishermen being swallowed by whales. One of the most famous stories is that of James Bartley, a sailor who supposedly spent a day and a night inside a sperm whale before being rescued. While these stories are captivating, they are often anecdotal and lack scientific evidence. It's important to approach such accounts with a healthy dose of skepticism. The human imagination is a powerful thing, and stories can become embellished over time. From a scientific perspective, the survival of a human inside a whale's stomach is highly improbable. The combination of crushing pressure, lack of oxygen, and powerful digestive fluids creates an environment completely incompatible with human life. While we may never know the absolute truth behind these historical accounts, it's essential to rely on scientific evidence and understanding to separate fact from fiction. Section 9. The Importance of Respect, Our Role in Their World The fascination with being swallowed by a whale underscores our complex relationship with the natural world. We are drawn to the mystery and power of these magnificent creatures, yet we also fear them. It's important to remember that whales are not monsters. They are intelligent, social animals that play a vital role in the marine ecosystem. They are essential for maintaining the health of our oceans, which provide us with food, oxygen, and regulate our climate. As we continue to explore and learn about the ocean depths, it's crucial that we do so with respect and responsibility. We must minimize our impact on marine life and protect these incredible creatures for generations to come. The story of being swallowed by a whale, while improbable, serves as a reminder of the power and wonder of the natural world. Let it inspire us to learn more about our planet and to protect the creatures that call it home. Section 10. Conclusion, a story of survival against all odds. Our exploration into the world of whales and the possibility of surviving inside one leads us to a clear conclusion. It is highly unlikely, bordering on impossible. The human body is not equipped to handle the crushing pressure, lack of oxygen, and potent digestive fluids found within a whale's digestive system. While historical accounts may suggest otherwise, it's important to approach such stories with a scientific lens. The reality is that the conditions inside a whale's stomach are too extreme for human survival. However, this improbable scenario allows us to delve into the fascinating world of whale anatomy and behavior. It highlights the incredible adaptations these creatures have evolved to thrive in the ocean depths. 
The story of being swallowed by a whale, though rooted in improbability, serves as a reminder of the power and mystery of the natural world. It encourages us to learn more about our planet and to appreciate the diversity of life that exists within it. Section 11, a note from the author. As we conclude our journey into the depths of this extraordinary question, I hope you find yourselves filled with a renewed sense of wonder for the natural world. The story of being swallowed by a whale, though scientifically improbable, serves as a powerful reminder of the vastness and mystery of our oceans. It underscores the importance of scientific understanding in separating fact from fiction. May this exploration ignite your curiosity to learn more about the incredible creatures that inhabit our planet and inspire you to join us in protecting them for future generations.